frequency multiplication by using PLL that is phase lock loop system. Now first we will see the block diagram of frequency multiplier or a frequency multiplication using a PLL. See this is a basic block diagram of our frequency multiplier. This frequency multiplier is divided into two parts. First one is our phase lock loop system and second one is that is divided by N network that is again frequency divider. Now we will see the functioning of each block in this frequency multiplier. First one is phase detector. This is acting as a comparator. It compares the input frequency and the VCO output frequency that is F0 and F in and the product as a DC voltage that is proportional to the phase difference between these two frequency. The phase detector used in PLL may be of analog or a digital type. Even most of the monolithic PLL integrated circuit use the analog phase detector. One of the most commonly used analog phase detector is a double balanced mixer circuit. Here in our circuitry also we are using the analog phase detector. Second one block is that is low pass filter LPF. Low pass filter is used in a phase lock loop to get rid of the high frequency component in the output of a phase detector. It also removes the high frequency noise. All these features make the LPF a critical part in a PLL and helps to control the dynamic characteristics of the whole circuit. The dynamic characteristics include capture and lock ranges, bandwidth and transient response of that signal which is coming from phase detector. The capture range is the range in which the phase locker loops attend the phase locks. This is the low functioning of our low pass filter. Next one is amplifier. This amplifier amplifies the signal or removes a error from a signal which is coming from low pass filter. The functioning of low pass filter is with amplifier. And last block is our VCO. VCO means voltage control oscillator. The main function of this VCO is to generate an output frequency that is directly proportional to the input frequency. That means F0 is directly proportional to our F in. The connection diagram of SENE 56 VCO is give the brief operation of this VCO. The VCO provides a square wave and triangular wave both at the output. The frequency of oscillation is determined by the resistors and capacitors present in this VCO. Now next is divide by N network. A divide by N network is connected between DCO output and the phase detector. Thus, the two input frequencies of the PLL are FS and F0, sorry, F, FS and F0 by N. The PLL will, this PLL will try to make these two frequencies equal. That means our F0 is equal to N into FS. Same points are there. The frequency divider is inserted between the output of a VCO and the phase detector. 
this output is a multiple of the input frequency as long as the loop is in the lock and there is a divided by n network and PLL will try to make output frequency that is H0 and H0 by n to make equal and finally the formula is H0 is equal to H0 by n into Fs. This is the frequency multiplier using PLL565 and divide decoder counter 7490. Now how it will work? In this case the input frequency input is V in. Here V in is there and that will be connected to pin number 2 and here your frequency is F in and this F in frequency compared with the F out at pin number 5 and output at N F out at pin number 4 is connected through an interior circuit to give an output at pin number 14 of the 7490 IC which varies between 0 and plus 5 volt using the output at pin number 9 which is one fourth of that at the input to the 7490 the signal at pin number 4 the signal at pin number 4 of the PLL is 4 times of the input frequency as long as the loop remains in the log that means input and output frequencies are log for the verification of the circuit operation one must determine the input frequency range and then adjust the free running F out of the VCO by means of R1 and C1 so that the output frequency of the 7490 divider is midway within the predetermined input frequency range. IC7490 is issued as a divide by 4 network that means your input signal is divided into 4 parts that is frequencies of these 4 signals are again different that is F1, F2, F3 and F4 pin number 2, 3, 6, 7 are directly connected to your ground the transistor Q is used again to divide the improve divide which improves the sourcing capacity of that PLL the capacitor has been biased to operate as a switch that means this transistor is acting as a switch in this circuitry at the collector of this transistor C the we get an inverted version of its base waveform that means at the output of this collector we will get the inverted output which is inverted of our base signal the output frequency is again adjustable this is the basic information of this frequency multiplier using PLL565 and decoder counter next point is this is the basic information again last one is input and output waveform of this the output frequency is adjustable it is possible to vary the output frequency by changing the register value as the input we are applying having a low frequency and after after applying to the PLL and the divide by n network the frequency will be increased and at the phase detector these two frequencies are compared this is the information of our frequency multiplier thank you